Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another laser engraver that was sent to me. And this is the Two Trees TS2 laser engraver. Now, I get a lot of emails, probably at least one a week, of companies wanting to send me a laser engraver. And I turn all of them down, except for this one. And you'll see why. All right, I'm not gonna waste any of your time by me babbling on about this. Let's just open this up and get on with this video. Oh boy, what do we got? Hey, look at that, there's three boxes. Well, we'll open them all up and we'll see what's inside. This looks like it's some test material for cutting maybe. Brush, I'm assuming that's for cleaning. Zip ties and Allen keys and wrenches, a little tiny screwdriver, a networking cable. Oh, look at this, more testing material. That's pretty cool. Oh, you do dog tags. Looks like there's some pieces of like leather and a piece of wood. That's nice of them, they didn't have to do that. Nuts and bolts. Not a clue what that is, we'll find out. Oh, this is a little shield for the laser. Protect your eyeballs. We have the laser itself. A power cord that has a North American end on it. A pair of safety glasses to protect your, your eyeballs. This looks like a, uh, a stepper motor. I think this is, I'm not sure, we'll find out. Okay, that's it for box number one. Let's see what we have in box number two. Hey, the manual, awesome. This looks pretty well written actually, very clear. We'll know once we get into assembling it, how clear that is. You never know until you actually get into it. So we have a drag chain, a long drag chain. Where's there two here? There's your power adapter. It's nice to see that a lot of this is already put together. That's awesome. That is it for that box. Throw it to the side. Box number three. I'm not exactly sure what, oh, I see, okay. Well, the manual will tell us what to do about that. These timing chains all seem loose, but I'm sure once I get it hooked up, it'll be tight. And that box is empty. So everything here is what came in those three boxes. And we got a pile of garbage. Okay, now it's time to assemble this. I'm not gonna show you how, cause I don't know how to do it myself. I'm just gonna take a minute and carefully read over the manual, make sure I completely understand what I'm doing and make sure it makes sense to me in my own noggin. And we'll see how it goes. It's nice to see that a lot of this is already assembled. This will be the third laser engraver I'm putting together and looks like the best one so far for assembly wise. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find Anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. This now is my third laser engraver that I have assembled and I have to say this is by far the easiest one so far. Everything just bolts together, all the wiring is labeled where they have to go, it's just plug and play. And I've already got it set up with light burn, I like light burn. Um, the manual, it goes in depth with laser gerbil, I think it's what it's called. I could be wrong on the pronunciation of that. English is my first language and it's not my best language either. Now this laser, it has some features on it that I have not seen yet on any other laser engraver that's out there on the market right now, and I think it's pretty cool. Now the first feature on this that I'd like to show you, which I think is the best and the coolest ever, is the Z axis here. To adjust the focus, you can just turn this knob, or 
it auto focuses. There's a motor here and it will auto focus for either engraving or cutting material. I'm going to plug it in here and I'll show you how that works. Okay, I'm going to set it up for engraving. Look at that. Now it's set for engraving. Now the way that it works is there's this little probe here and when it goes down, it touches the material. There's a little switch in here that triggers and then it knows that it needs to come up a certain amount of distance off the material. Now the other feature that's pretty neat is it comes with air assist and it doesn't actually come with the air pump. It just comes pre-plumbed with this hose that comes out and it has a nozzle on the laser with this little valve coming off and you can actually adjust how much air pressure you want using that dial there. I've been reading online, there is some different kinds of air pumps you can get. There's like a Fox Alien one, which is pretty popular. It's around $75 Canadian, I believe. I might order that one. But I've also seen some guys are using aquarium air pumps and they seem to work well. But what I find that works good right now is just blowing on it. Another feature that I really like on this is how these timing belts are all fed through the extruded aluminum frame. And that way it's protected, they can't get dirty or gummed up at all. And I leave my laser engravers in my dusty shop and um, yeah, they get pretty dirty and every once in a while I have to clean them because if they get dirty, it throws everything off and you don't get a good engraving. So I really like that these are all hidden and protected. I also really like the cable management system on here. Everything runs through these drag chains so there's no loose cables to get tangled up. I also like this protective shield that goes all the way around the lasers to protect your eyes and you should also be wearing the glasses with this but if you don't happen to have them on this does help a lot. It also has flame detection in it, so if something catches fire, the laser will shut off. And also, if it gets knocked or it falls off the table, it will also shut off. It won't just keep on going and then burning everything in sight. And then they have one of these oh crap buttons, and you just push it and it activates it, and everything will shut down, the whole thing will turn off. And then to turn it back on, you just twist it and it pops back up. This laser engraver also comes equipped with Wi-Fi so that you can use an app on your phone to do cutting and engraving. Okay, so this is the app here. It's called the MKS Laser and it's pretty neat. It's pretty simple. Not a lot to it. There's a creation thing here so you can, you know, scribble and draw like a little child and then it'll engrave it. There's a control here so you can move your laser around. And then there's also some free clip art in here. And then you just a button here for engraving. Graving. That's kind of weird. I wonder why it's not called engraving. It's just called graving. But whatever. Yeah, and that's the app. Pretty simple. The working area of this is 450 millimeters by 450 millimeters, and that is about 17 and three quarters by 17 and three quarters. And it comes with a 10 watt laser, and with that, you were able to cut an eight millimeter thick piece of plywood. Now that's a bit less than three eighths thick. This laser engraver is able to engrave a wide variety of material and some of them I was really surprised to hear because I have tried it with other laser engravers and it never worked and that one of those is stainless steel. Now they sent some samples along to try and they sent this little dog tag. Now my dog's name is Ozzy so I'm going to try to engrave my dog's name into this. They also sent some of this leather, which is not leather. I think it's like a fake leather of some sort, like a vinyl maybe. But I think we might try to cut out a shape and engrave it as well. They sent a piece of wood and um, I was not surprised to see that this thing would engrave wood. And they also sent some of these different colored sheets of aluminum. Now they, in the manual, they call it an anodic, anodic alumina. I think it's anodized aluminum. That's my guess. We'll try that. We'll see what it does. And they also sent a piece of black acrylic. It has a paper coating on here to keep it protected, but we'll try to engrave that and cut it as well. And then I wanna try to cut some quarter inch Baltic birch plywood with this. And it says it can do it in one pass. I'm gonna be pretty amazed if that is possible, but we'll give it a try. Okay, first up is the dog tag that is stainless steel. I 
That actually worked really well. I'm impressed. Next, we're gonna try the anodized aluminum and we're gonna keep with the uh, dog theme here and I'm going to engrave a little dog into it. And there's that, a cute little puppy. And that worked out quite well. And that was just a JPEG image I found on the internet and uh, just copied and pasted. Next, we're gonna to try to cut it out into a circle. I've adjusted it for the cutting mode or the cutting focus of the laser. And I've slowed it right down and I've increased the power to 100%. So let's see how long this takes to cut it. And it says that it can cut it in one pass. Now that is something I'm curious about as well. So let's give this a try. Yeah, look at that. I'm really impressed with the engraving on this. And the speeds, I had to slow it right down to like 100 millimeters per minute and 100% power. And it seemed to cut through in one pass perfectly. So that was pretty cool. Next up is this leather-like material. Pretty sure it's not real leather. And we're gonna try to engrave my logo into this one as well. And we'll see how it turns out. It's not bad, but it's a little hard to see on here. Right next, we're gonna to try to cut out the shape of a bear out of this quarter inch Baltic birch plywood in one pass. Let's see how this goes. Just trying to wiggle it out of there. Oh yes. Well, would you look at that? That is impressive. That took about five minutes to cut that out. Man, this is gonna open up a world of possibilities. So yeah, overall, I am really impressed with this laser engraver. It is by far the best one that's been sent to me so far. Like it has a big working area. It has a super powerful laser that's able to cut quarter inch Baltic birch plywood in a single pass. The Z axis auto focuses for you, so there's none of this, you know, steel rods or little cards that you have to use to manually focus. Super easy. The assembly of it was, yeah, like a child could do it. It was just nuts and bolts and plug and play wiring. Like it came 60% assembled already, which is amazing. So if you'd like to get one of these lasers for yourself, there is a link in the description. I would suggest you check it out. And if you're in the market for a laser engraver, I highly recommend this TS2 by Two Trees. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.